How do you feel when you turn on the tap and nothing comes out? Will that water always come out? Do you know where it comes from? And do you know how much water is consumed in the city every day? In a capital city? Let's do an exercise with a mega city. Bogota, the capital of Colombia. How much water does Bogota use every day? On average, a person uses 122 litres of water per day, the equivalent of 244 half-litre bottles. So in Bogotá, with 10 million inhabitants, 439 billion litres of water are consumed per year. How much water is that? Impossible to imagine, isn't it? Let's do a quick exercise to help. Wembley Stadium, with a capacity for 90,000 people, has a volume of approximately 4 million cubic metres. With the water consumed in Bogotá every day, we could fill more than 109 Wembley stadiums per year. Where does that huge amount of water come from? Could it run out one day? In Bogotá, water comes from the paramos that surround it. How are paramos related to Bogotá? Paramos are high mountain ecosystems. They are giant freshwater factories that do their work without workers, but with the help of the cloud forests which surround them at the top of the mountains, and as we descend through the Andes, transform into the mega diverse rainforest. That is where the flying rivers are formed. Large aerial flows of water that travel from the oceans and lowland forests and are captured by the vegetation of the Paramo. On our Earth, everything is connected. Our planet is a great living being that has its vital organs spread all over it. The Paramo vegetation is responsible for producing fresh water. This happens because it consumes very little of the water it captures. The rest generates small threads that nourish streams and rivers true towers of fresh water that feed cities like Bogotá and maintain the balance in the water cycle worldwide. This balance is fragile. When it is maintained, the movements of water on our planet are lighter and our relationship with them is subtle. When the balance is broken, this subtlety is transformed into ferocity. The paramos and the Andean forests that surround them are in danger. They are highly vulnerable to temperature changes due to climate change. What can we do? It's hard to think that as individuals we can save the planet, but if each community takes care of its own land, it will be possible to maintain the balance. In one of the paramos where the water that feeds Bogotá is generated lives the Monkentiva community. They live amongst the forest in Paramo in a way that provides livelihoods, but maintains the unique nature of the high mountains of the Andes. They practice cattle ranching, but it is environmentally sustainable ranching, based on a relationship of mutual affection and care between animals and humans. Instead of increasing pastures, they have improved the quality of the existing grassland and have selected the most productive breeds of cows to make their milk and cheese more nutritious and profitable. For the farmers of Monkentiva, living between the forest and paramo is very important. They do not want everything to become pastures because they understand the importance of the forests and the paramos to produce and conserve fresh water. The inhabitants of Moncantiva are descendants of the Muiscas, the indigenous people who inhabited this region before the conquest. For the Muiscas, the paramos were sacred. They understood that everything on earth is connected and that human beings are also nature. In Moncantiva, the rivers overflow and permanent rain soaks the landscape. In this place, the jungle bathes and every living being breathes water. Like their Muisca ancestors, the people of this area know that they, the forest and the paramos, make each other. If one disappears, the other disappears, and with it disappears the fresh water. The only way to take care of nature is to know it. The more we know about the global water cycle, the more chances we will have to protect it and to avoid the imbalance that puts life itself at risk. That is why the efforts of scientists around the world, such as the research carried out hand in hand by British and Colombian scientists and local communities, are essential for the continuity of life on the planet. What does water mean for you?